All right, hey guys, my name is Tristan Lesko, and people call me TL. Today I'm reading is Running and Stamina for my motivational speech, all right? As I was pacing with Jet Ford, I bumped into him by accident, and then I said, sorry about that, Jet, and he said, no worries. And then Jet Ford bumped into me by accident, and then he said, sorry about that, and I said, you're good. Don't worry about it. After my race was over, my dad said to me and said, you're not supposed to talk in the middle of the race. I first started running cross country in 2023. I decided that I need to quit flag football. I was not quick enough in flag football. I worked hard, but I never got more playing time. So I decided to quit to focus on cross country. What well, motivating me was something inside. I decided that I wanted to push myself beyond the limits. Listening to calm music helped me get focused before a run. How did I win? I would always keep pace with my lead runner. And that is how I brought home the title. Sometimes I do easy days and hard days for my workout. In the race, I felt like I did not get tired easily. When I felt like I was going to cry before I became the state champion, I felt like I was so emotional because this has never happened to me before. When I was a little kid, my mom would always say this to me and say this, no one is ever going to take that away from you because you deserved it and that you earned it. When I asked my friends for help for last Sunday, I thought that Judd was going to be running track and field this year. And one of the first things that Judd said to me was that, did you know that whenever you're racing against a ton of runners, they can get inside your head? And I said, I did not know that. My friend Jet Ford said this to me, Tristan, you are a talented runner and that you are better than Leighton. I met my friend JP in 2020. When I first played basketball with my friend JP, he would always make me become better at basketball. The reason why you should always have friends is because they have always been there for you. What made me better was when I had to work harder and harder for me to get better in basketball, even though I was not so good in basketball. I would always do push-ups, sit-ups for me to get better. And I would do planks, leg planks, and I would always do is wall sits for me to do wall sits for about two or three minutes. Then my mom said that coach Isaac said that he wants me to play flag football for them. I agreed and I played flag football for the last two years. Flag football didn't work out for me, but I started running cross country and track and field, then Coach Richard was talking to Mr. Wenger, my coach, and he was saying that he wants me to play flag football for them again, because he said that they miss me in flag football. When I had to talk with Coach Richard, I said to him that I don't want to play flag football for you anymore because I don't want to blow my chances at the state championship. He said, oh, okay. I just needed to have a talk with him about it. My parents wanted me to make sure that I am taken care of. The reason why I favor running is because sometimes I want to cherish it. Those memories with my uncle Gary and how I spent time with my uncle. It's just that I can't breathe without my uncle. 
and that I can't remember my uncle sometimes. I run because I have to order to cherish important memories and continue moving on in my life. When it was my first time running cross country, that's how I became the state champion from today. And I forgot to mention one thing. I broke my dad's record and my coach's record and my friend's record too in the 3200 meter record. My friend Brady would always say to me and say this to me, go chase your dreams, man. And that's all I have to say, folks. See you and bye.